Human activities over the past 200 years have caused the amount of carbon dioxide in the air increased by 30%. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere traps the heat from the sun, preventing it from being re-emitted back into space. The natural background level keeps the average temperature of the planet at the livable level. It looks so cool and everything, so, uh, yeah, definitely, I think, uh, cold weather cars would be bad and, uh, very inconvenient and it would suck, because, I mean, I couldn't have a cool looking car. Well, I have a 20-year-old car, so it's kind of a big polluter, and I still use it sometimes, but I like to cut down on that, the bus as much as I can, um, when it's convenient, like, I'll still drive to the grocery store, and I still... We'll drive home, like, back to my parents' house from school. However, it is a very delicate balance between the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere and the amount of heat retained there. An increase in the carbon dioxide level will cause the planet to heat up. It is becoming more and more apparent that this will lead to the increase in the average temperature of the Earth. Um, a hybrid car will be better because using all this gasoline and everything, it really does pollute the air. And it's... It's just, it's damaging our universe, so I prefer a hybrid car. For the most part, I like to take the bus because I just feel like it's a more green option and I'd like to have, like, future generations have the, like, environment as well as I've had it. The consequences of this are not really known, but it now seems likely that they will be disrupted to our lives. It is therefore important to minimize our carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emission and prevent background level rising to dangerous level.